Right, so now we're going to cover the fourth question to this troubled car repair shop problem, uh, where we want to build a data table to estimate the shop's profit based on bay utilization and how many hours they spend doing basic oil changes. So we don't know what our shop's gonna, utilization rate is going to be, and we don't know what the split of Supreme and Basic is going to be, but we can get a range for it so that we can make some decisions based on what we think might happen and know what the risk is if, if, if something else happens. Um, so to do this data table, first we're solving for the shop's profit. So we need a formula that outputs the shop's profit here. And we also need the components of that, which is basic package and supreme package. So we can figure out what the shop's profit is going to be. And it's just the sum of these two. Okay, so how do we calculate the profit for the basic package and the supreme package? Well, we need to know how much time is spent on the basic package versus supreme package and what the utilization rate is going to be. So let's make some more inputs here. Utilization rate. Hours spent on basic. Hours spent on supreme. And let's just throw some dummy numbers in here. Two, three. So now we can calculate the profit here. Uh, if we spent two hours on basic, we have that times the profit per change times the number of changes per hour is 40. Okay. So if these are true, the hours spent is supreme, that shop profit should be 160. But this doesn't make any sense because we are 100% utilized. How are we only at 160? Well, we have inputs here for a total of five hours, but at 100% utilization, we should have 32 hours. So to make this even more foolproof, because we just made a mistake, right? This should be 32. We should not let people make mistakes on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the hours spent on Supreme to be the hours per day minus the hours spent on basic. So that way we can't mess up, right? Based on the utilization rate, uh, we have the same amount of, we have a total number of utilization rates spent on hours in basic as to spend on basic and supreme. So now let's change this utilization rate. Our profit didn't change. That's not right either. So we need to make a total profit number based on the amount of hours we're actually using and not hours available. I don't know, hours, the amount of hours we're using. So hours used. So let's multiply the utilization rate by the hours per day total available. And we've got 32 hours now. So if we change this, that should be 26. Good. So we're about right there. And now we need to change this. So instead of the hours per day total, we want just the hours utilized. So if this is 80, we spent less time on Supreme because we know how many hours we spent on Basic. That's in the question. We're just going to say we spent two hours on Basic. All right, so now our profit is looking right. Um, we can check this because we know if 100% is util utilized for Supreme, it's 1280. So let's just say 100 for utilization. And we have zero spent on Supreme. We should have 1280. And we do. There's 1280. There's 1280. So we checked our work. We made sure we're right. We're good. Let's just make sure we're formatted right here. This should be black. All right, great. So now what happens if I type in um, 33 spent on basic? That's not actually right. You can't spend 33 hours on basic because then you'll have negative hours on supreme, and you can see this is coming up funky. So this can happen. Um, and now I can either do a validation here to make this so that uh, it can't be more than 33 so data validation and so you could say a whole number less than or equal to 32 so i could do that or what i could say is just to let them know um equals if say if that is greater than or 30 32 make it come out as, or sorry, if that is greater than or equal to, we want it greater than or equal to the hours utilized, not 32. We want it to come out as not possible. So that's a decent way of doing it. So this is 33. 
Now if it's 80% and this is 32, it should come out as not possible, 31. But if it comes out as 20, you should be able to do it. Good. So we are alerting ourselves. Um, even better though, if you can you know, prevent them from putting that bad number in the first place, if we can do the data validation and say a uh, whole number less than the maximum should be the hours utilized, press OK. So now if I put in 26, it doesn't let me even enter that in in the first place. So that's the best. When you can't even enter that in the first place, that's how it goes. And so to change this, I would need to change some of these other assumptions. Now I can probably enter in 44, and it's fine. But if my maximum is 32, then that's not going to work. All right, so now let's build our data table. So we want uh, on the top row, we're going to have hours on basic. In the bottom row, we will have, uh, so the column will have utilization percent. Let's just say one, two, three, four, five hours spent on basic. Utilization percent is going to be. Um, 20%, 30%, 40%. And so my profit, I'm going to link this to the, this top left of the, the data table has to link to the shop profit. And usually I'll make this another co color, just a lighter color, just so people know it's not a real thing. That's just a link. And then now I can make this data table. So I'm going to go data, what if analysis, data table. The rows are going to be the hours on basic, and here's my input. The column is going to be the utilization percent. And so based on those percentages, I have you know a data table here, and I can change this to 100, 50, and 20. And I can change this to 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. I can even make it longer, but you can see that at 20%, Spending 20% utilization, spending you know 10 hours on basic isn't even possible. But um, if I didn't have this rule in here and I only had the validation, you wouldn't see that here. Uh, you would see probably some sort of error. Actually, I'm not even sure. Let's let's go and check it out. So if I take this data validation off, we take this off. And now I'm showing a negative number here. You can see this is wrong. So if I take that off, even if this number is validated here, so I validated that I can't have more than 26. This is still validated. Can't do it. But the data table actually doesn't take that into account. It'll still give me the bad number, um, even if this data is validated. So it's a good thing that I have this if statement in here so that I know or my manager knows when I give them a data, data table, you know, you don't get real numbers for this. I, I, this, this number is not possible. It's not 156. It's not possible. Um, so now I have my double check to make sure that no one can mess this up. My manager is not going to misinterpret this data table. Uh, they know that these are the possible ranges at these levels of profit. Um, so that's our data table. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, go practice these. These are really useful for any sort of analysis with a few different variables. You can do two on the data table and you fix the rest. So we fix the hours spent on Supreme as a function of the total hours available and the hours spent on basic. Um, you can do that or you could just fix everything else completely and I could say five hours on Supreme. But uh, this is a really, really handy tool. Hope you enjoyed it.